<sighs> okay guys, so today is finishing the lips. I've ordered the two front lips and I've received them. So now I just have to take the old lip from something like this, my lip slash barrel for the rear, to something like this. This took me so long, I can't even explain to you how tedious this process is to get it to be a mirror. And it's still not perfect, but I think it's as good as I'll get. Basically, we'll do the overview real quick. So, after I chopped the, the barrels off, split the two piece into a, or split the two piece barrel center into a three piece barrel lip center, they are dirty and they're grimy and they have paint on them. They have uh, machining marks from the factory that are a bore to get out. So basically, I have one lip just over here that I've taken down and I've gotten all those machining marks out of with some like 80 grit sandpaper on my on my poor man's lathe over here. And with that, I'm able to go and start the polishing process. So if you have a different wheel, you have something that isn't got these machining marks that you have to take out with an angle grinder and some 80 grit and stuff like that, don't even ask, then you can jump right to removing clear and going and polishing. I'll be going from something like an 80 to a 120 to a 200 to a, to a 300 to a 400 to a 600 to an 800 to 1,000, 1,200, 2,000, and then I'll do a cutting compound and a final polish to get something that looks like this. Now, all in all, this lip took me probably six hours to polish. That's not a joke, it took me that long, even with this jig. So doing something this size by hand, uh, a six inch lip like this, by hand is going to take you a very, very long time. So be prepared for that. And I, it might even be worth having it professionally polished just at the time you'll spend. I mean, it took, everybody's time is worth uh, is worth a little bit more or less. So if it were me, six hours, that's a lot of time. If I could get them polished for 60 bucks, that's well worth it in my mind. But part of the, sh part of the channel, Part of the part of the build for these wheels is I try to do as much of it as I can by hand myself to keep the price down, to keep you guys interested, and to keep these episodes cool, interesting, and technical. So let's pop this up on there and we'll have a look. There we go. Cool. So like I said, we're going to start with some low grits, probably 80 if I can do it. Here's a 150, still too high. And all I did was I bought uh, basically a 10 pack of sandpaper, or a $10 pack of sandpaper that goes from, I think it's like 60 to 3,000. It's pretty neat. Definitely something I would suggest for this, because you just burn through these. I found 180 one pad of AT. Now, two things you'll want. Obviously this jig, but maybe a, maybe you use a motor or something. But you definitely want gloves. And then you'll be wet sanding, so you don't need a respirator as much. But if you're dry sanding, you want a respirator. But I, I put headphones in and then I cover them up with some uh, Air protection.
Looking like that, pretty damn good. But we can do better. We can go further. We can go all the way with this stuff. This is the stuff. Mother's Magna Aluminum Polish. Now, I use mine in an interesting way. I take it, spread it. And I'm probably doing this wrong somehow, but I'll take this area, then I'll take the same cutting area. Microfiber. Take this spot and I clean it. And then I'll move on to this part. And then I'll do this part. And by the time I've done it all, I'll do one last go with some really clean stuff. And that will be my finished product. So, you've got, before you kind of wipe it off, it's kind of glazy, hazy, and then this is after it's all wiped off. Now, as you can tell, these wheels are not perfect. I have some scratch marks in there from the process. I have some dings from where they had wheel weights, but I mean, look at that mirror. It's pretty damn good. So, all I've got to do now is do a nice quick once over, and then I have to take this, demount this, take the uh, the drill, do a polish on all the the face where the bolts go, but that'll be on the ground. Okay, so here you see the two polished lips that I just finished, and these are the cutoff six inch deep style five two piece to three piece conversion and here are my brand new three piece conversion style five Elrich real works four inch lifts and these are just four inches those are six these are for the fronts these are for the rears these i had to buy i couldn't think of a good way to make these without making it a total mess and it was just worth buying them you can tell they're mirror polished as well It's gonna look so sick. Isn't it, babe? They're very shiny. Do you like them? Mm-hmm. How much time do you think I put into each one of the lips? Too much time. Tomorrow's my birthday! Oh my God! Okay guys, so you can definitely see that the wheels are coming along. I've got all four lips done, all four barrels done. My centers just need to get back from the machinists and I can paint and assemble. So that'll be good stuff. Once I do that, we can get tires on the, on the wheels, wheels on the car, and then I can start working on the wide body. Good stuff. You excited, babe, for wide body turbo noises? Super excited. I'll probably make another episode of like how to polish the wheels if I can get enough footage together to do it. 
because it is a very tedious process that I had never done before, never had any introduction to, and I kind of learned as I went from a couple of forums and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's another episode of Budget Three Piece Wheels. Peace out. Oh, did you do a little peace sign? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>